Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I am tired today. My eyes are tired, my brain is tired. I'm tired, but it's gorgeous out, so we're gonna go out for a walk with Sarah and the twins. You wanna say hi? No? Okay. <laughs> I think I'm trying to push that fourth day hair a little bit too much because all my flyaways are going a little bit crazy. And my postpartum hair, I've never really had a lot of hair here to be fair because I'm a natural blonde. And since going dark, it's like a little bit more obvious, but I always had a lot of hair like right at the top of my head. So I'm gonna have to shower tonight. I'm gonna do a tan, a tan tonight as well too. So <laughs> it doesn't even look cute up at this point. I'm gonna head into town. I mentioned in my last vlog that I was gonna get some books and DIY them. I saw Lydia Millen's homepage on her Instagram and she has a highlight called DIY. And I saw that she painted some old books from thrift stores. So I'm gonna do that. She's gonna come with me. She's not eating lunch. I'm not gonna push it because you had so much before nap time. You were so cute. Come here. Come here. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Do you want to say hi to the camera? You show the camera what you have. What are those called? What are they called? <laughs> Did you see that look? I have all my paint samples from Fairwind Ball and Little Green Company here. So I have a bunch of different options to paint the books. All right, all of these books were one pound each, so eight pounds to create this look. Hey, Olive, thrift shop finds. <laughs> no photos, please. These are the books all laid out. Some of them have the sticker on the back still, but they're not coming off, so I'm just gonna paint over it. You won't see them anyways. The two I'm gonna use are both Fair and Ball samples. This one is Elephant's Breath, and the other one is Shaded White. So whenever one runs out, I'll just use the other. take a shower so excuse the stay here we went to Bally Castle to go to McMorton's for some fish and chips so we had some nice family time the kitchen has been bonded which means it is getting plastered like the walls are getting plastered starting tomorrow so hopefully everything is done by the weekend and then we'll let it dry for a couple of days and we're gonna just start crack a lacking and get paint in here which makes me realize I still need to paint the skirting board in here. <laughs> kind of sailed, that ship sailed when uh, I started and I still need to do another layer on those doors. So <laughs> the end is in sight, which makes me really happy. I have a lot to do. It is 9.30 and I want to be done by 10.30. My whole routine here, I need to take off whatever is left on these nails. I need to like cut them short because my nails are awful right now. Does anyone have any remedies to like save your nails because they're getting shorter and shorter and I don't bite them. I'm going to take a shower, scrub, shave, apply my tan, show you which one I've been loving, paint my nails, watch the last episode of What If, blow dry my hair, go to bed. Oh, happy Wednesday, everyone. I have not picked up my camera at all. I'm almost too tired to even hold it right now. I should because it's awkward. I'm in Belfast, all is with her Nana. I'm sweating, sweating, and it's so muggy and like kind of rainy out. I did film this makeup on my Instagram, so make sure to check it out picked up a new dress from Zara and I was kindly invited to go to Boo Avenue, Bo, Boo, and they gifted me some bras and I'm so glad that I went because I was wearing the wrong size and now I feel a lot more confident in this area. I have some work to do before I'm meeting Christina and then the Super Value Secret Hidden Garden Party tonight. It's gonna be exciting because they're whisking us away 
to somewhere um, we don't know, undisclosed location, which is very exciting. But it's been a very productive day, which you can tell by the layer of sweat on my face. I look like I have really dark circles under my eyes. Made it to the National Garden. What is this? Garden party? Secret garden. Secret garden party, but it's just the back of the National. It's a really cute space. They have given us a beef eater gin cocktail. It's blood orange. It's really good. And then literally a bus is coming to pick us up and take us to a location like they haven't even told us where. <laughs> Secret, secret, yeah, secret party. location. I'm just here for the food. <laughs> Mommy looks really tan compared to you. Yeah. Do you want to tell everyone about Bunny? I get it. Yeah. What else? Mm. Oh, kisses. You give big kisses to Bunny? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'll gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> We're going to Nana's because Mommy has to do some stuff today. I missed you so much last night. Thank you. This is my outfit for today. I have gotten so much wear out of this Zara coat, so if you ever see a coat like this, pick it up because I promise you'll get a lot of wear. Out of it, this is my Zach, I was going to say Zach Efron bag. <laughs> Zach Posen bag with little pearls on it. Really cute. Have my Kildare Village Prada loafers on. My favorite pre-marked jeans that I actually took about an inch off at the bottom. Felt like they just needed a little trim for my short legs. This top that I love from Yes Style. And then a new lipstick that's from... YSL, it's like a really pretty pinky plum color. I'll actually show you in the light. I thought it was really pretty and rosy. I wanted to bring kind of a rosy look. What, what blush am I? Oh, I'm wearing a Becca blush. It's a, a split one. I'll try and find the name. It's quite vibrant looking. It has a little bit of purple in it. It's gorgeous and I think it really goes with this lipstick nicely. Let me find the name, one sec. Super pretty packaging. And it is the Rouge Pure Couture in 09. Gorgeous color. I am now in the Topshop personal styling room. I have the first outfit to try on, which to speak in my language, it's, I'm just saying that a lot, I just don't saying that, but it's so cute. It's like a pink linen suit. I actually had these trousers last year, so we're sizing down because I love them. I wore them so much. You guys remember the white versions of those? So I feel like I would wear the pink a lot because I have a lot of white tops, even this top. The linen workshop and um, talk with I Love, I Love Linen in Avoca was so fun. It was really great. Um, you guys saw from the clips, I even made a little personalized linen apron. So, had a lot of fun there, but now it's time to get down to business. trying on basically everything on here. I know I'm gonna regret not getting this, but don't need it. And all of these shoes, we are leaving with two outfits. So, so happy because they're very, um, you know, can wear with a whole bunch of things that I already have. Ah. Can I get monetized for worship music? Alexa, pause. We are, surprise, off to Belfast again today, but we're going to um, one of my favorite little kid photo shoot studios. That's coming off weird. Um, it's called Rinkadink Studios, and they always actually ask for Olive whenever they have a pop-up session, which is normally like a really cute set. It's the most 
simple and gorgeous studio, really white, but then they always do a fun pop-up set where it's a shorter amount of time, but also a way better price. So if you're wanting pictures of your kids that are professional, but like a lot of people charge a lot of money, it's a great alternative and they're just so good at capturing cute little moments and the set is just super cute. So they ask for Olive to be the model for it. So we're gonna go head down now. I'm out of breath. <laughs> need a coffee first, that's what I need. <laughs> You give kisses? Mwah. Mwah. You give it a kiss? That studio is hands down. Guys, you can already see like what it's gonna look like. I'm so excited. It's the cutest little setup ever. I forgot to show you at the Avoca event yesterday. I was obsessed with the table set. Setting, sorry. And they had this with like water and freshly cut lemons in it. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. It's such a good idea. And apparently it's used as a wine decanter as well. So multi-purpose, am I right? It was like 22.50, I think. Probably a little expensive, but it's a Voca. And it's like a really pretty eco-friendly made glass. It was like a, one of their conscious lines. So I thought, you know, I'm doing good by buying this. This is almost done guys, this makes me so excited. Once this is all white, and then these are like a light gray, the French pale gray by Little Green Company. We still have some mixed, so that hopefully covers it all. And then it's just waiting on this island, so it's very exciting. You shaking your butt to E-I-E-I-O? What does Old McDonald say? Good girl. Do, 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 do. We have an iPad for long car journeys, and it's the best decision that we ever made. Yes, it is, because she likes the movie sing. You're welcome for that nice little musical. It is awful this week. The rain has not stopped. We're gonna go to Sarah, we're gonna go to Sarah and Paul's for some food. We're just picking up some stuff while Patty is. Is he in there? Yeah. Um, just gonna be a chill night because I have a busy day tomorrow. I'm gonna film a separate video of like my get ready for the event because I'm just thought you might like that. So stay tuned for that. We'll probably be up after this video though. So keep your ass peeled. here with the Pampas. Pampas? I <laughs> don't know how to say it. Anyways, we're gonna have a little chat about beauty. Summer? Is it summer technically? Summer clues. Yeah, it's all about our summer style. We're gonna ask you your favorites. All your favorite okay. stores, what you like to wear. Oh, Talk about your new suit you got on. You guys like it? I filmed a separate video, so I'll be coming. Bye. We're now in Accessorize. Melissa and I are gonna get, what was it called? A gold starlight crystal. A little piercing which is very kind of them to offer it to us complimentary so I think we're gonna go up a little bit higher like here-ish yeah, I had this done before when I first moved over but like didn't go over so well so <laughs> hoping it maybe goes a little bit better <laughs> all right super cute now Melissa's about to get hers in let me see yeah, lovely Oh yeah, that is. Wait, turn a little bit this way. Yeah, so cute. Oh, there's a little glisten in it. Yeah, perfect. Olive, come here, babe. Follow my voice. Hello. Hi, Sandy. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> Hi, cutie girl. Oh, come here. Oh, are we gonna go to Auntie Jess's house now? You can see your cousins. I am home. Patty did a whole barbecue by himself. 
<laughs> what a man. This little guy is doing well, though every time I put my hair behind my ear, I'm like, yeah. Victoria Scare was so kind to give me a whole bunch of goodies. Lots of lashes from Doll Lash. I think it's in Topshop in the Victoria Square location, well, Belfast. Some Charlotte Tilbury goodies. I'm wearing this combo at the moment. Shouldn't have put stuff here because you're grabbing it all. Will I move it up? <laughs> Lots of little gift cards and stuff like that, which is very, very nice. This is the lip color I'm wearing. It's the Lip Cheat in Super Size Me and the Lip Bath in Refresh Rose. Really pretty. Love it. Anyways, we are off to Auntie Jess's house for a little dinner <laughs> while the boys watch the Liverpool game. <gasps> Do you not want to go? Do you want to see Zoe? <gasps> and we'll see Jess and Nana. <gasps> oh, so exciting. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. As soon as I turn off the camera. Bye-bye. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hi guys, this little insert is from the future. I just forgot to put it in the vlog when I was editing it. Basically, long story short, I was nominated for an award here. It's an award show in Belfast. And the category is Best Beauty Blogger slash Influencer of the Year. It would mean the world to me if you guys wanted to vote for me. So I'll leave the link down below. You just scroll to the bottom. It's easier if you work it on a desktop device. Um, the site can be a little bit glitchy, but just scroll to the bottom and you can just pick me, give your email, and you voted. So if you do, let me know. I would love to thank you in advance. Thanks. <laughs> and voting ends June 9th. So I'll be bringing you to the award show, which is on the 24th of June. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday afternoon. We've been to church. Olive and I had a nap. <laughs> it was glorious. It's done. It is done. Ceiling is done. All walls are a finay. Yay! So now we need to get baseboards. <laughs> That's been a long time coming. I'm gonna prime that door <laughs> tonight. These doors are basically done except for one inside of panels and then I have to white spare all the panels of glass because <laughs> it got all messy. And then it's on to painting, so we're gonna paint the ceiling, obviously white, and then we're doing French gray pale on the walls because we have a good amount of it left to cover it so we don't have to buy more paint. That's good. Oh, we have to paint this uh, radiator again because it's looking kinda sloppy. But yeah, it's all exciting. I feel like this kitchen will be done. Erica and Colin are coming in two weeks, so that's like a deadline to get it mostly done. Obviously, the island will take probably a bit longer because the guy that's building it can't do it until July, so. Probably probably won't be done until end of July, even beginning of August. But everything else will be finished, hopefully. Hopefully we can get the electrician in to put some lights because there's no lights in here at the moment except for the oven lights, so that would be helpful too. But it's all so exciting. We feel a lot better about this room because it was really, <laughs> really annoying because it's a space that we really want to hang out in because it's like a kitchen living area. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and I'll see you tomorrow, next week. Next week's vlog. <laughs> Bye.